These are the top three products all living soil growers should be using. All right, so this list is the top three things all living soil growers should be using, new or old. So top of the list, living soil pots. Um, the reason we believe you should be using a living soil pot and not something like a SIP, not that I'm necessarily against a SIP, um, but for the biology we want to culture and keep, a living soil pot can do that. Mm -hmm. A sip. A lot easier. A lot easier. Let's Help say maintain that. aerobic biology, yes. not facultative anaerobes or even anaerobic. Aerobic. Good guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it also helps to aerate and prune uh, while retaining moisture. And if you do happen to water too much, you have a little strip that'll allow the water to come out. And if you happen to get a cultiva living soil pot, they're about twice as thick, so you don't have to have a homie hold it open for you while you're filling it, and they have the awesome handles for easy transport. And the bigger ones, they have four handles too, so that way, you know, when you're lifting a 30 gallon pot full of wet soil, two people, each one gets a handle. Two people can do it, yeah. and then just so you guys can kind of see, here's that liner that helps maintain that moisture. Yep. So second on the list is aerometer tensiometer. Always beating this in everybody's head. I'm sure you've seen five videos about us talking about these. Yeah, I think every single video. Damn near. Yeah. Um, we're this close to a sponsorship from them, mm -hmm. um, but we're not quite there yet. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Benefits of this is you'll just be able to help keep the moisture even. So you won't be too wet, you won't be too dry. And the benefits of the main benefit of that is your microbes. Yeah, so your microbes aren't gonna die, you know, if it dries up too much or even go dormant. They're, yep. You're just gonna maintain a good atmosphere for your microbiology in your soil. So it's really important to make sure you're not over or under watering yep. and a barometer does that. Exactly. And when you over and under water, um, it can kind of lock things out so your plant's not getting what it needs. Yeah, exactly. And so, and unfortunately when you over and under water, those symptoms in the plant look the same. Yeah. So it mm -hmm. just cuts all of that out. Yep. So third on the list, which is super important, soil test. Yes, very important. Everybody should be getting a soil test. Um, it's basically the way to keep your living soil uh, in a no-till environment for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and save money while you're doing it and only use what you actually need and not throw things out of whack to where may, you might ha end up having issues or lockout or anything like that. And my favorite part, it gives you the data. So you as a it grower does. become a better grower. You're learning from all of this information you're getting and you can make the right improvements without doing way too much. Yep. So that's the top three products all living soil growers should be using yes but Absolutely. we have an we have an honorable mention we do have a major honorable because mention. the title top four products doesn't sound as good no it doesn't so the fourth product <laughs> is biologically complete compost yes if you have biologically complete compost you're giving your soil the best uh, the most potential to give it the best, most diver diversity of bi biology, pretty much. The easiest you know? way, too. Yeah, easiest, easiest way. It's way. way cheaper than other stuff. Uh, and a lot of the other products that you know are, are you know in a powdered form, they only offer fungi and bacteria, and it, you need more. You need the the and predators and limited there. fungi that could outcompete other fungi. Yes, yes. So we don't want to get all into that part, but yep. yes. Uh, and you know, in terms of predators. Biologically complete co compost offers protozoa, nematodes, even sometimes microarthropods, uh, you know, really small bugs. Uh, but all of that will help with nutrient cycling, your pest management, yep. uh, and really just maintaining a healthy soil food web in your soil. And again, it's astronomically cheaper than other products out there, especially powdered products yep. that don't even offer a full complete uh, set of microbiology. It's just maybe some fungi and a lot of bacteria. And there's really no way to quantify any of that no nope. powders. No, nope. yeah, it's, it's not the same. It no, really just isn't the same. All right, so honorable mention, biologically complete compost. Uh, this was our top three things all living soil growers should be using. Um, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. If you're not following us on Instagram, please follow us on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. Um, and seriously, we try to interact with all these comments. They do help us out. They yeah. help us uh, learn what you guys want to, want to know. Um, and thanks for uh, watching and interacting. Oh, yeah.